Hi guys, I am doing a little bit of an experiment to try and remind you exactly how to take and make notes like we did in class the other day. The instructions are there in writing but I thought I'd just do a short demo. So first of all we set up our page. We've got the question at the top, how did the soldiers cope in the Vietnam War? And then we've got the page split with the one third section and the larger two thirds section. Now with your one third section what you're going to do is to take brief notes using symbols and abbreviations about how the soldiers coped in the war. Now we're using our text, the things we carried, and you can see I've just highlighted or circled a couple of details that I'm going to use. So first of all I'm going to start with old Ted Lavender. So I'm going to note down his name. Um, the fact that he carried six or seven ounces of premium dope and just a few more ideas about why I think he might have carried and how it helped cope so he could sort of escape go into a bit of a daze maybe forget about the war okay now I'm going to focus in on Dave Jensen He's our clean freak. Write down his name. He practiced field hygiene. I'm putting a little dot there because I'm going to miss out a few words. And he carried a toothbrush, a dental floss, and it goes on. Why do I think that he carried those things? Um, I think war is obviously very dirty. Uh, the practice of field hygiene is a little bit strange to me. Perhaps he wanted to have a sense of normality. Being clean. Like at home. Alright, now um, what you guys have done is filled up that page and probably some of the others. Um, it's time to now work with the two-thirds section. And so what you would do is you would change each of these, you would turn each of these points or notes into a series of sentences. Leave yourself a decent gap at the top. We're going to come back to that. Alright, so Ted Lavender who was killed during the story carried tranquilizers and six or seven ounces of premium dope I think he did this to help him escape the reality of the war. Okay, it would send him into a bit of a daze where he could forget what's around him. Okay, so I've dealt with that part, so I'm going to cross that off. I would then, underneath, do the same for this section. Okay, now you're going to have filled all this up with all of the notes you've taken here. The last step is that we're going to create a topic sentence. You can actually even label this at the top. It's a very good thing to do. So what we have to think about is our, our sentence, our question, sorry, our shaping questions. How did the soldiers cope in the Vietnam War? Now I would have at least four different characters here. I have to come up with a statement that answers that question in one sentence. So 
what I know now is that different people, different soldiers, coped in different ways by doing different things. So my topic sentence is going to be in in the Vietnam War soldiers did many different things to cope. There you've got a really solid looking topic sentence. Alright, so that's how to do the note taking and the note making. So what you have is a draft of a paragraph ready for editing and making beautiful.